Trevor, hello. Great to oh, have you. I want to try getting the first word for a change. You always say you always start it. You I always, always say cut you something off. first. <laughs> like I'll probably that's not uncommon. Yeah, okay. I'll probably start it now. <laughs> so you're going to edit that back, are you? Is that what you can do? <laughs> He's got to have the first word and the last word. No, does no, he? No, I'll leave it in. I'll leave hey? it in. I'll definitely leave Come it. Come on. You even let me intro a segment in the EV show, which is great. Happy for you to be involved yeah. in dramas at all. That's not, you know, you'll, you'll be hearing that soon, but um, yeah. yeah. It's good. Trevor likes to share the, share the load a bit, eh? Yeah, thank share you for, the wealth, mate. Thank you for coming early in the day because my wife's going out tonight and <laughs> yeah. it, it infringed upon our everything, recording time. Everything for you, mate. Well, all it's right? just, it's, for me, just, it's all about planning. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I said to him, I don't, you can change whatever you need as long as I've got. Good notice. Notice, yeah. yeah. Stephen will be accommodating as long as we've got good notice. Yeah, I need notice um, <coughs> because, uh, yeah, I've got a life too, you know. I, know, I need notice. <laughs> so, um, no, that's all good. I think we, people can, do, we plan very well. We're people, very good planners. People do assume as self-employed individuals that you can just do whatever you want whenever yeah, you want. But well, like, you can a sometimes, lot of, but... There's a yeah. lot, yeah. you know, there's a lot of moving... Like someone said to me the other day, um, <clears throat> we should, they were going to come and visit or something and, you know, catch up. I'm like, yeah, probably there was like one date in the next four weeks that, right. I, that I could make that happen because there's school holidays coming up and yep. a bunch of other things. I'm like, honestly, <laughs> it's probably going to have to be this little window I've in got, the diary. I've got spare 15 minutes yeah. in four weeks. Yeah. And then I said to someone else, I said, oh, yeah, no, no I'll just get to that on Friday. They go, Friday's a public holiday. I went, Pfft. okay, yeah. good luck to you. So is glad, Monday. Hey, Monday's I'm glad your holiday. diary has that stuff in it, but I'll be working. Yeah. You know? Will you be? Yeah, definitely. What are you going to do on Good Friday? Get work done. Like it's the best day of the world. Yeah, you don't get no, calls. No emails. You don't get emails. Yeah, it's great. Yes. Yeah, true. I won't work six, seven hours. I'll just yeah. come to the office for like three or four hours and I'll probably probably get a day's Aren't worth of work done. Aren't your kids at home, buddies, never running home? You're not going to spend yeah. time with them or? Yeah, I'll do that on the weekend. going to go to mass and all that or? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that the, was a joke. Yeah, no. Yeah. What, is that a Sunday thing or a Friday thing? Friday. It's Friday, Friday. You, it's it's uh, the... You're not allowed to eat something on Friday too. No is meat. It? No meat. Yeah. Well, during Lent, you're not supposed to eat meat on Friday. I'm going to have Friday. a massive steak. Yeah, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies to our Catholic. I remember. <clears throat> I remember. In fact, this goes to um, next week's movie and when Harry met Sally. But Kirsty and I were um, having a Farnham night. This is like this has got to be 15, 20 years ago. Yep. And we were like, let's we we'll go get some drinks. And yep. it was. It turned out it was Good Friday. I don't remember. Whoops. Or I didn't plan it that way. And yep. so we couldn't. You can't buy alcohol as well. What? Is it Good Friday that you can't buy alcohol? I don't know. There's, a, there's one of the days How where, often do you reckon I'm buying alcohol? Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying there's one of the days where, like, bottle swaps are closed. And it's like, what? What are you talking well, it's about? It's a public holiday. So it's, a, it's, like a, it's like up there with – it's like a Christmas Day level public holiday. Where yes, but there's, it's also a, you know, no one no, – you don't sell alcohol on this day or something like that. I don't know. It's wild. I've never tried to buy alcohol on Good Friday, so okay. I can't help you. All right. Yeah. Also, but, um, my yeah. mum's coming around on. We're having people, people coming to our place on on Easter Sunday. Lovely. Um, and Amanda goes, "Oh, is your, so, no, she didn't say. Oh, <laughs> didn't say it like that. She goes, oh, because <laughs> your mum's coming, we can't have hot dogs." I went, "Why not?" And she goes, "We can't serve your mother hot dogs." And I went, "Why not?" Oh, you mean she wants to put something nicer? On yeah, I'm it. like, just make hot. Michelle, get, get, Auntie Shell loves hot dogs. Get the bar- I love get hot the bar- dogs. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, well, that's what, now I've got to cook two chooks on Sunday. Oh, can we in just the, have hot dogs? In the, uh, in the, be in the Traeger. Traeger. Yeah. yeah, nice, nice. Two, I've got to make two chooks on Sunday. Could have just had hot dogs. That yeah. would have been awesome. Just hot dogs, so just frankfurts and bro- and the soft yeah, buns. Yeah, we found these really great gluten-free uh, of course, um, hot dogs, gluten-free, and they're unbelievably yeah, good. Yeah, nice. Yeah, like really Still taste good? Yeah. Despite being gluten-free? Yeah, well, uh, most meats are, like sausages are normally gluten-free, but you yeah. do need to check that they haven't used oils or, you know, uh, sauces and things that are within it. Sounds like a lot of work, mate. Yeah, thanks, mate. Welcome to my world. It's a lot of work. Mate, thanks to Arnott's for the j- jats too. Yeah. Gluten-free jats. Let's go. They go all right? Yeah, they go good. Taste good? Like the normal? Taste great. Could you no tell if I all? did a taste test, could you yes, tell the difference? Yes, 100%. You could? Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Because they- in a, not a, in a bad way? No, not in a bad way. No, no. It's just um, the, they're a bit lighter. Now, jats oh. is a, quite a hard is it? crack when you You've eaten when a you lot of jats, it. have you? Yeah. Oh, mate. I could smash a pack of jats. I'm not a massive jats person. Massive jats. What are shapes? Are you a shapes nope. man as well? No, nope. chicken crimpies. What? Aren't it's chicken crimpies? Ch- never heard of them. They're like they're like an oval shape. They're a bloody great biscuits. If I, there was a packet crimpies. here now, I would smash the whole packet. Really? You Love do, chicken you're crimpies. You're a good snacker, aren't you? Got some oh, snacks up your sleeve. Australia. All right. If they <laughs> made snacking at the Olympics, I'd be going to Paris. Yep. Pack your bag, mate. Mate, 
Wow. I would be a metal chance. Okay. So if Desert Island, top three snacks. What top would they three be? snacks. Put you chicken crimpies. Chicken crimpies. Chicken crimpies. All right. Um, and who makes Desert them? Island. Who makes them? Arnott's. Arnott's. Yeah, they're not available in gluten free yet. Do right. Arnott's make jets too? Is that Arnott's yes. as well? Yeah. So you're an Arnott's Shout fan. out to Arnott's for sending me all the gluten free stuff too. I appreciate yeah. it. Why did they send them to you? Did you? Because they know my kids are celiac <sighs> and uh, I'm okay. an influencer. <laughs> I saw you put them on Insta. That's nice, mate. Oh, you got to tag them, you know? Of course you do. Um, so, uh, chicken crimpies. Uh, uh, it's, I'm not going to take chocolate because it's a de- desert island, so it's going to melt. But did I say it was a hot desert island? Tiny teddies. Tiny teddies? Yeah, chocolate tiny teddies. Smash a box of those. Fortunately, they make those in those little packets little now. Little packs, so yeah, yeah. Just 13 at a time. I think you're, did you I know there's 13? There's my, an odd number. My kids used to eat them when they were young. Yeah, so yeah. did I. They're, adult, still they're adults now and they don't I eat them. I still do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Harry says, a came, lot, says a lot. We were watching, it was Formula One down Sunday. Harry came in, you got tiny teddies, dad. I went, yep, and he throws <laughs> them in. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, uh, nice. So chicken crimpies, tiny teddies, and um, probably Oreos. Ooh. Yeah. Very there you go. What about you? Very exotic. Don't mate, say uh, bloody nuts and almonds. Well, no, it would be now. I've, uh, my, uh, no, my snacking mate, has changed, no. mate. We're not snacking talking about changed. lean mean. We're talking about you're on a desert island, okay, mate. Yeah, fair enough. Well, I, I, I'd be a salt and vinegar, Smith's Chris salt and yep. vinegar chips. Oh, I should they're, have seen they're that my coming. Go-tos. Yep. They're my go-tos. They're my go-tos. Supporting the old South sponsors. Oh, of course. They don't um, sponsor them anymore. Why would you bother supporting them? Not for 30 years. didn't buy an MG, though, did you? No, but I've driven one. That doesn't help support I've driven a few. And I've enjoyed the hospitality of the footy. That's not what well. MG won. <laughs> uh, my other snacks would be, oh, mate, I, I, I'm going to go against your chocolate um, ban, the Cadbury hazelnut chocolate. Well, mate, if we're taking chocolate, I'm just taking yeah. twirls. Yeah, hazelnut chocolate. Loads Cadbury of hazelnut chocolate. That's right. my other go-to. And uh, I, I don't mind a bit of licorice. I'm a licorice fan. Really? Yeah, Dara Lee licorice. That's oh, a that hard I used, no from I me. used to eat a All lot of that. All sorts of pure licorice. No, the pure licorice. The, okay. the Dara Lee, the, the proper little. Chunks. And um, very high in fat uh, in sugar. Really? But, um, uh, and, licorice. If you, and if you eat a lot of them, it, um, Mate. it shows it out <laughs> the other end. Yeah. Your, uh, yeah. Two, you know the, what I'm talking at about. the very bottom of my list would be licorice and musk sticks. Oh, Redskins. I take those. Redskins. You know what are they I... called now? Sorry. They're called something else now. <laughs> Whoops. Cancel Woke. me. Whoa. Um, I don't um, know what they're called, yeah, but they're I, bloody I Redskins. I don't mind. You know those, remember those um, bananas, the little lolly yeah, no, bananas? That's you don't like that for me. What? No. Wow. No. What about the little... Um, teeth? Yes. Teeth? You like those? 100%. The teeth, the marshmallow teeth? Yeah. Yeah. How many times did you yeah, put them in? Hundreds of times. Pretend they're yours. Yeah, we always say. Little I, milk bottles are not bad I did as well. that about a month ago. <laughs> racing cars. Oh, what? They don't make the racing cars any or what? much anymore. What are racing My mum used to find. What are racing cars? What are they? Little little lollies. Chocolates. I'm sure they're Lolly. Allens too. Right, they're like a white wow. bottom and then a green, red, kind of different coloured tops. Wow. Racing cars. And couldn't find it for years. And then my mum, the, the local IJ app at Walker, used to sell them in a big bag. She'd come down and visit with her like a two kilo. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Mom, I'm going to eat them all. Like, let's be real. So, yeah, yeah. racing cars, I'd, yeah, this yes. is tough. I'll tell you another thing I love. Uh, my mum, God love her, makes really nice Maltese bread pudding. Oh, well, if we're taking it's mum stuff, awesome. I'm taking rumbles. My mum's rumbles bread pudding. are yeah. out of this world. The, the, they call it pudina. The, the if mum doesn't make uh, rumbles very nice. for Easter Sunday, there's going to be drama. Okay. She doesn't. Rumbles. She won't. She won't because they're a Christmas thing. But. Oh. At the pub, she would Suggested. always have rumbles so, in the in the freezer. Oh. I, you know, Suggested. here's the thing. Just drop a little hint. If so I send her a text and I say, just FYI, each is at our place now because it was going to be at Amanda's parents. Each is at our place. Bring rumbles. She'll make rumbles. Good luck. Like to that's her. good luck. To that's her. how we roll. Mate, like my mum will do whatever. Hint. Yeah, me too. If I say, oh, I say to my mum, you haven't had any uh, pudding, <laughs> bread pudding for a while, and she'll make me a little dish. You know, my own little personal little Pyrex dish. You yeah. know, she'll she'll come to coffee with the one wrapped Amanda, up with. Amanda foil. makes her dad sticky date pudding. Yeah, that's his thing. I don't mind that either. Yeah, Joe loves that. My wife loves sticky date. Right. Pudding. Well, yeah. if you ever come around for dinner, you might get sticky date pudding. There. Boom. I won't have any. I'll just have plain ice. Cream. Worlds colliding. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I said to Amanda the other day, I said, we nearly rang you on the podcast the other day. And firstly, I said the same to my wife. Firstly, she didn't say, don't you dare. 
She entertained the whole conversation. Yeah. My wife said, I would have spoke to you. Oh, really? No, said, she, oh, she, now she, you tell she me. She didn't go that far. Yeah, Jay said, I would have spoke to you. Yeah. yeah. I said, because I told him the whole story. And she didn't, by the way, she didn't flinch at my recollection of the story and your yeah. recollection of the, or your proposal that it was, you know, worlds colliding or a sliding doors moment. Yeah. Um, and then I said to her, I was thinking, I think in the end, Joe didn't want to, Stephen didn't want to call Joe because his story was just made up. No, mine was legit, mate. Absolutely legit. You mean about my her not ordering my food? Yeah, yeah. yeah mate, we still talk about it today. <laughs> she didn't order my dish. I'm positive. She and she blamed the waitress. She goes, "That was the waitress." She didn't. I said, "Okay, whatever." Anyway, if you want to talk about, it, I think it was the private, private feed last, last week. week. Yeah, private feed last week. If you're yeah. not listening to the private feed, what are you doing? You're missing out. You're kidding. It's also it's it's on the video. Like the link is in the. I normally put it in the Facebook <coughs> and the YouTube. The link is there. It's there. And I frankly know how many people watch it, and, and it's, it's free. A, it's free an utterly disappointing content. number. It's an utterly They'd disappointing number. Yeah, a lot of people, most people listen to it. Yeah, right? I know. It's it's one of our most popular shows. <laughs> the non-tech show is our most popular one. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it says, anyway, it says a lot about us. Just so you know, we're not doing the private now. If you think we've this is the, the private. Way. Yeah, this is you are listening to two blokes. This is talking the preamble. Tech. And yeah. well, I'll tell you what, we should do. We should probably do this. Yeah, let's go. Welcome to Two Blokes Talking Tech. Not a bad price. With Trevor Long from EFTM.com. Really handy device. And Stephen Fennec from techguide.com.au. I'll just start the show there and we'll use that 10 minutes as a start as of the, the as private. The private. <laughs> yeah, we've done half it already. <laughs> Great. We do have a topic for the private, which we forgot last we've week. We've got a couple of topics. I've and, got a couple uh, to throw in as well this oh, okay. week. Okay. Yeah. Right. Can you remember to do certain... the one that we said we were yeah, going to talk course. about? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's in the memory bank. Is it? Yeah. Two Blokes Talking Tech, episode 626. Uh, thanks to the great people at Arlo and Netgear. We appreciate their support and we hope you support them. If you've got a choice and you're out there buying some home networking gear or some home security, think Arlo, think Netgear, not just because they support us and that helps you get this entertainment every week yeah. or and information. They make, they make good gear. <clears throat> they make bloody great gear. Great stuff. Uh, and so we appreciate their support. Stephen, uh, we have an official date of Apple's Dub Dub DC Worldwide Developers Conference yes. for 2024. It's, it just feels a bit a, a bit later. It's a bit yeah, later. Yeah, than it's normally early early no, June, like third like or fourth single, or something. Single figure June. Yes, like but it's the tenth. Is yeah. that right? This year. So tenth yeah. is keynote day. So what they do is they yeah. start the event with a keynote from and, Tim and Cook and his and Craig Federighi and the yes. the kind of dev <clears throat> team. More it's than changed, the, hasn't it? It's more changed. than the product marketing team. It's not people talking about their cool products. It's people talking yeah. about their Software. So you're talking I, iOS, iPad OS, TV OS, Mac, Mac OS, OS, all that stuff. Vision OS. <clears throat> Vision OS. But uh, it was years ago when we used to attend. Uh, the, the developers used to be there. They buy tickets, attend in person. Then COVID struck. Yeah. And then it was a com- t- entirely an online uh, an online event. Yeah. And since then, they've kept it as an online event. So yeah. more people can attend, virtually attend. But they still have the opening day live event watching like a watch party of the keynote yes and which keynote during covid they created a they pre-produced the the keynote rather just that's what they do now for every event now that's their go-to yeah and uh it, i think it works out better for them and for everyone i guess i think it works out better for them broadly yeah. but it, it's just one of those things where yeah. you're like actually i could probably just I prefer a live else. performance um yeah. the only thing you see when you're at apple park and there are a thousand odd people there mixture of staff and some yeah. developers and, locally would yeah. come along and media um yeah. the there's always an intro uh tim and craig yes. will come out and do a little bit of a chit chat and then yep. kind of throw to the then video and that's the video when the video tape. starts yeah um but <clears throat> dub dub you know the keynote's critical because it's where they establish their their path and some some direction for the conversation yeah. around what's new and what's breaking and um, what's newsworthy. But then the the few days after it are the are dub dub. They are the sessions. There's an engineering yeah. session about you know you know um, uh, core what's what's different kits. You know AR yeah. kit or, AR kit or yeah, there'd, be, um, there'd be an engineering session yeah. about NFC. There'd be an engineering session session yeah. about dynamic island. There'd be yeah hundreds of sessions where used to be that they'd be in a room, there'd be like 30 or 40 people with an engineer and they talk and they'd record them and put them up later. But now they're all online. And so yeah. developers from around the world can register to just be part of it and yeah. learn. And actually it's not – and because it's not um, those sessions. Keynote is very much a Apple, here's what we're telling you. But the, yeah. end, the sessions are, hey, what do you want to know? Yeah. You know, they'll, they'll tell you about a new changes or interesting things that have happened with the different features of iOS or macOS or whatever. Which is, it's valuable access. I think the developers, the, the, it's not every day you can just talk to an Apple engineer. Yeah. It used to be, though, yeah. that they would sit there and they could have their code looked at as yeah. well. Yeah. Or can they still upload? Can now. they still upload that? Maybe during? they can. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's, I think, a really important and smart of Apple to 
they've got a very tight relationship with their developers. It's the, they're it's, the most important it, part hello, of the community. It's called the frankly. Developers Conference. So when the new, what are we up to? iOS 18, yep. iPad OS 18, when all these new uh, operating systems are, are shown or are revealed, there's some features that then the developers can take advantage of. And, and I most recently, I think one of those features that I really enjoy on the iPhone is the dynamic island mm. and how apps can take advantage of that. That and live yeah. activities. You know, yeah. when your phone is locked and information appears on the lock screen, yeah. screen like how have far you, away you your Uber that? is. Yeah, yeah I get it. Well, well Uber does it really well. <clears throat> Uber's um, great. My my flight yeah. app, Flighty, does it well. United Airlines United does it well. United is amazing. I've um, used United. My, a lot of sports apps do it well. My Mercedes, <clears throat> when I'm when I'm um, charging it, that also has a live yep. little uh, like percentage and yep. a, a little tile on the on the lock screen cool. to tell me how long it's got to go. Yep. Yeah, and so that that they're, they're the little examples of. What, how developers can get even tighter in with the with the operating system? I'm looking forward to hearing more because remember last year they announced the Vision Pro yes. at last year's show. I'm hoping that they will announce obviously an update to the software and perhaps features. I'm not sure, but also hoping that they announce which other countries are going to get it. Hopefully, Australia. Yeah, I um, think so. I think let's talk Vision Pro first. Yeah. It, ha it will have been a year since they announced it. It'll have been four months since it became available in the US. It was always going to be US only to start with, but yeah. that can only last so long. I feel like conversation around it has died down. They had a, a really bit, yeah. strong mm. first week or so, yeah. and maybe that's intentional. Maybe they, they want this second phase. You yeah. know, UK, Australia. Um, they need you know, a big some, market. Yeah. Some subcontinent countries. Who knows, yeah. right? They need they need another wave because, you know, everyone in the UK, everyone in Australia is going to do the same mm. things and we won't get as much coverage if you like but yeah. globally because the big stuff's already been done but locally yeah. it'll, it'll go very well there's a lot of interest in it I still get calls from people saying have you got that yet are we going to do yeah, it when are we, you know? me too yeah but the, the, <clears throat> I think the advantage of us getting it second is that we we get the the improved version you so the, the updated version the software like, by the time Australia gets it it might be Vision OS 2 or the second well, version well most importantly by the time Australia yeah. gets it there'll be a lot more apps so I expect yes. Tim Cook to showcase, or whoever they put in charge of talking about Vision OS, yep. I expect that person to showcase three to four core apps. Yeah. And maybe one of those three to four will be vastly unique. You know, yeah. something that no one has thought about something before. Something that's what a wow factor. Something no, that we're going to go, whoa. oh, that's what we, because we've always said, yeah. I've said it's the most amazing piece of technology I've yeah. ever used. I don't know what we need it for. Yeah. They need to answer that question. True. So if they but answer that question at Dub Dub, it's a big win. Yeah, but also make it um, something that you want to grab again because it, it does have high novelty factor, yep. like all VR. Yeah. But repeatability, you know, repeat business. Yeah. How often are you going to reach for that VR? Like you, you've you've used VR headsets yeah. and enjoyed it at the time. Yeah. How often have you gone back to this? I lent my MetaQuest to someone a year and a half ago and I haven't even bothered to get it back. Yeah. So it, it, I think it needs to have that. Really should do What do that. you call that? It's not repeatability. It's <coughs> kind of… Um, sticky. Make, make it make sticky. It stickiness. Yeah, I guess so. But it, it needs to be something that A, is not just entertainment. It's yes. something that you can use. Like I know it's, purpose. You can play VR games all day and all night. Yes. And depending on how big a game you are, will draw you back. Or you can watch movies like that as well. It, don't you reckon it needs something, another form, another app that is outside of those two, that is like a perhaps even a, 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 a like a work app, like a something that can help you uh, an efficient something be more efficient, something you can do more efficiently yeah. with the Vision Pro than you could on your computer. I, I look, I I still look forward to using it. I still see myself mm. like in this room, leaving things in places, like leaving my to do list. Like I think about. Things that I would write on a whiteboard, but don't because yeah. I have visitors here. Like, ah. you know, just like prospects Privacy. or things like that. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, more. Like, yeah. if, if I got a PR group come here, I don't yeah. want them to know what I'm doing on other things, right? Yeah, sure. So I don't want to write all that stuff on a, on a yeah. whiteboard. So okay. if it's in my Vision Pro and it's just on a private whiteboard, yeah, okay. that when I use it, it's that, there. Well, that's a good point. That's another, <clears throat> that's another attraction of using Vision Pro is that you can be working on this big project that no one else can see. Yeah. So you could be in public working on something that only you can see. So look, I don't expect them to announce a different version of the Vision no, Pro, uh, really. a lighter version, <clears throat> a cheaper version or anything like that. We expect likely a dub dub to yeah. get an, at least an update on its mm. next availability, hopefully a date, 
Um, and, you know, there'll be some and amazing a, a, a demonstrations. Pricing. Yeah. Now, outside of Vision OS, and we have talked about this before, this is a little bit repetitive, but they have to talk AI. And weirdly, yes. over the last week, it feels very clear that Apple is doing a deal with someone in the existing space to do AI. They're talking about yeah. doing deals with App, um, with Google over Gemini. And really? Yeah, Cause, cause like cause Apple partnering be, up. The way Apple's been talking about it is that, that AI, we've been doing AI for years. We, and technically they have, you know, the, the machine learning, yes. the neural engine, all that sort of stuff. That's part of AI, I guess. But I thought they would have had their very own. They wouldn't rely on yes. another so, and I'll tell third you, party. I'll tell you why. I, like I'm still using the Samsung. And the when you use, you know, what, what used to be, Google Assistant, yeah. But when I push and hold the middle button now on this phone, yeah. um, it brings up Gemini. Right. It brings up Gemini, the AI. Yeah. What assistant. do you think of that? It's unbelievable. Like I've, I'm going to stop paying for ChatGPT because Gemini is yeah. better. It's, it's, so sorry, the, it's, it's just as good. So the so you what so I mean what you're getting for free with Gemini is better well, than what you get I'm paid. Well, I'm on or? a Google Workspace account, so I'm uh, paying for Google Workspace. So I'm, right. I think I'm okay. paying extra still for Google, for Gemini. And as so, well. can I ask, what are you using it for? Um, just now and then I go, um, like, here's five paragraphs. Can you make this sound more professional if I'm sending an email? Or, yeah, right. Um, um, I've written something really long. I might go, can you just rewrite this with spelling? Yeah. Check for spelling. Um, I've done it for, like, I've helped Amanda. Oh, you use it as spell check? <clears throat> kind well. of. Uh, like, you know, grammar, like, can you make yeah, suggestions right. here? Um, uh, I've had, you know, Amanda and I have been, like, brainstorming over things, maybe for her, her work or otherwise, and you just go feed yeah. it a bunch of ideas and yeah, it comes out with fair. things. Um, I'll tell you what I do. I, I use it sometimes to get, um, you know, how we do our movie podcast. Yep. I ask it to give me the main, main themes and the main scenes of certain movies. Yep. And it gets it wrong. Really? It gets facts wrong. See, that's wrong. bad. Like, if you, if you were to take that... Well, lucky I know the movies very well anyway, but they're often in the run, the scene by scene breakdown. It says, like in, in I think in Harry Met Sally, it says, oh, there, there's something that happens that it just does not happen in the movie. It's just really? totally wrong. It even got um, Matthew McConaughey's character wrong in U five seven one. It called him, it called him the captain's name instead of Tyler. So little things like that, and and the Gemini lets you Google check it. Yeah. You now there's a button, and and it says, oh no, that seems fine. <laughs> it's like. I don't know whether you've got to go to the paid version for it to be any good, but... Um, On yeah. ChatGPT or Gemini? Both. Really? Both, yeah. Yeah, see, that's why I wouldn't go to it for outside information. I would simply feed it to something. Cre- to be creative I for think you, of to it, help it. What I try and do is I try and think of it like I had an employee, an assistant, and right, I say... Okay. yeah. That's what I want. But I still say, and uh, you say, every time I say this, you say Copilot does it. It doesn't do it well yeah, enough. Yeah. I just wanted to organise my inbox. Mm. Like, go through my yeah. inbox... And I, sort mate, it out, folks. I reckon that's Apple's opportunity to really, if they want to put the Mac <coughs> ahead of everything else, if they can get the, that working with the, because you know they they got the end to end thing, right? They got their own software, hardware. And I think it'd be easier for them to have to achieve that. Yeah. Imagine, like I use Mac Mail. You laugh at me because I use Mac Mail. It's ridiculous. Right? And and imagine if they had that feature, that would make Mac I Mail. Would, I better. would use Mac Mail. Yeah. If there was, and I keep saying, if Siri yeah. AI, if I could say oh. to Siri AI, hey, can you f- go through my inbox and 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 just highlight the three most important emails I need to deal with today? Summarize my unread emails. Oh, that no, I'm just oh, yeah. yes, you could do that, yeah. but I'm just like there's 20 emails in this inbox. Yeah. Which ones do I need to action now? And because if you like, you'd be using. <clears throat> Um, you'd be using the well, your mailbox. Yeah. It might be looking at your messages. Yeah. So it knows who you're communicating with. Yeah. Is that something that's okay for it to do for you? You don't mind? I don't care. You yeah. can know everything. I yeah. don't mind. Because it knows but it anyway. What so. I'm saying is if Apple comes out at Dub Dub and says, you know, like they, they're going to have to address the elephant in the room, which is AI, right? And Completely. if they go, here's a <clears> list <throat> of places we're already doing AI, we'll all be like, yeah, okay, good. But that's not the AI we're talking about. Yeah. Because it's AI, it's that's four, great. We need foreground AI, we need not background this, AI. What do they call large language model AI? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. foreground AI. Yeah. So if they say we're including the Gemini app by default with the iOS 18, that's like, so you're saying Siri's dead. Like, yeah. what, like it has to be built yeah, in. It I has agree, to be mate. Siri's knowledge. So I agree. And I still, even if they say we've collaborated with some of the biggest AI companies in the world, and now when you ask Siri things, the, the results will include AI interpretation. Because you think about the number of times you ask Siri something and it gives you web results that you've got yeah. to click on. Well, that's just stupid. Most of the time, yeah. So, so use AI in that circumstance. But if they're outsourcing that, yeah. then 
I think they're admitting that they can't build a large language model. And they may they may address that. They may say, mm. we don't want to, we don't need to, it's not a business we want to be in. Yeah. But see, the problem for them is what you just said. If the AI is not accurate, yeah. you can't put Siri's name on it. You're because only as Siri good, will be yeah. the one that gets bagged. You're only as not good Gemini as Not Gemini or open, uh, ChatGPT OpenAI. Completely. And I think, uh, yeah, that, that's going to be a real issue. I, I don't ho- know. I hope they take ownership. They need to take ownership of it mm. and be... So this is our product. It's yeah. our it's Apple made product. We've been than, saying yeah. for years that yeah. Siri is the oldest and dumbest of the yeah. three big voice assistants. It's unbelievable that it's yeah. been around longer than Google and Alexa. And, and you'd think that yet in there it, it has the worst ability to help you. Like, it, they've they've hyper yeah. skilled it with things like sport in America, with yeah. you know certain things, but it ha- doesn't have broad knowledge. You'd think that in the in the walled garden that is the Apple ecosystem, that it would have absolute domain. It'd run. It'd be just perfect. See, what I would say if I ran AI at Apple, mm. I, and and you know I had the the concerns of all the things we've talked about with AI. Yep. I'd say right. Here's what our AI is going to do. Our AI AI is going to partner with Encyclopedia Britannica mm. um, or whatever. We're going to f- partner with this organisation for facts. Yes. We're going to partner with this organisation for history, and we're going to partner with this organisation for real time, current, modern day information or whatever it might be. Which would be Google. But we're not. Yeah. No, it just doesn't. No, yeah. it could just be all the sports organisations, yeah, okay. whatever. Yeah. But what we're not going to do is use a computer to trawl the internet and yeah. read every website. Yeah. Because it can't be trusted, as yeah. you've pointed yes, out with movies, yeah, right? Totally, yeah. So you partner with IMDb yeah. and you say anything movie related, yeah, okay. our AI is – so you're going to have to pay a license to IMDb for their AI to read everything on IMDb yeah. and constantly update itself. So that yeah. when I ask a movie phone question, instead of getting Kramer on Siri, <laughs> you get it. I get the real answer get IMDb. from IMDb Powered data. Powered by IMDb. It doesn't, yeah. need to, it doesn't need to say that. Yeah. But I just have the faith mm. that, go, that Apple's AI yeah. – is is bo- is born out of facts as opposed yeah, to I think you're ser- whatever you're can be written on the internet. Reacting over here. It, is, it is, yeah, yeah. one of them. Yeah, it's it's, it's it's wondering what you're talking about. Yeah, it is, poor thing. Um, <laughs> so that that's my concern is yeah. that we're going to judge Apple whatever they announce. Yeah, we're going to judge them on what they announce in AI. Speaking of judging, can I just go slightly off topic here? Really, what you, on this what show, you, what do you think of their uh, the um, the case against them in the US about wow. their non competitive? Um, what do they call that? The <clears throat> kids the, block your ears. No, no, I'm not Uncle talking about. Yeah, yeah. No, no, Uncle Trev's going to say a naughty yeah, word. Yeah, I think it's a load of shit. I'll be honest. Mm. If, so, what well, you when mean? Uh, the, the, the antitrust case against the Apple. Antitrust. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. You know, when I think antitrust, I think Microsoft and Internet Explorer back in the late nineties, right? Mm. And Microsoft got taken to court in Europe and in America because yep. they installed Internet Explorer by default in computers, and they didn't, and they've therefore pushed Netscape Navigator out of the market. Okay. That was a broad case. Mm-hmm. Google's had their own cases and different things like that. What the DOJ, the Department of Justice in America, is saying is. Apple dominates the smartphone market. They even cite the failure of Amazon's Fire Phone yeah. and others as being Apple's dominance. But Samsung mm. has great market share. Apple doesn't even have 50% market share in America. Yeah, it's mostly – the world is mostly Android. But can I just counter here? Hmm. I think what could be Apple's uh, downfall in this case is, the, is iMessage. No, that's rubbish. No, I reckon that their their refusal to have RCS until now hmm. has really, uh, I think, walled them off from from other. Your Honor, I can still message people on Android. Uh, I know uh, they, but, they but don't prevent no, you well, I'll tell from you talking why. to anyone. Let me fill out my case. The the thing the thing that objection, Your Honor. The Sorry, iMessage God. saga is that uh, iMessage to iMessage is perfect, encrypted, high quality. You get the read receipts, all that information. If you were to go to a an Android phone and try to have that same experience, and that's a basic feature of a phone is messaging. It is much more. It is inferior. It is less secure. And you, you're in, like, say, you're in a group just chat on I, iMessage. You're not included. Or you get kicked out of the because you're on Android. So. The, a couple of years ago, I think uh, Google had this campaign and, and sort of pointed out some cases where there were, lo- there were like allegations that Apple internally was saying, yes, we can't, we can't do RCS because people will buy Android phones instead of iPhones. Hmm. And families who – and I fall in this case. All my family is all iPhone. Whenever I'm using an Android phone, I le- I'm left out. I'm left out of stuff. 
So that that is, I reckon, one of one of the things that could come back to bite them. I will come back as the Apple lawyer here and say, yeah. appreciate what you're saying, mm-hmm. uh, Mr. Uh, prosecution, <laughs> but the fact is that Apple gives users choice. You can download any number of apps, Telegram, Signal, WhatsApp, yeah. and you can create those groups, and we have no role to play in that. Mm. We have not stood in the way of anyone creating any messaging app. Yep. So, you know, I, I'm like you. I switch phones all the time. We have a WhatsApp group. My family have no idea what phone I'm using. Yeah. Now, I don't see – look, yes, it's annoying and a bit dumb that yep. Apple doesn't allow um, the, the kind of RCS stuff, and it will in the future – but it's not, they're not. Why should they? What, what's what's the government requirement that they do that? Well, no, I'm just the, the approach I'm taking is that like it's the it's the uh, well the whole point of this case is the fact that Apple's dominance is for for a reason, right? Yeah. It's 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 the well, part we'll of that, part of that dominance is because they're their walled garden and how they do certain things. If a family is the great example. Are more likely to stick with iPhone because it, they're, they're going to suffer not having some of these features. Yeah, I know there's WhatsApp and everything, but the the native app on the phone, the messaging app that's front and center, is n- if you're on another platform, it's not going to be uh, as the experience is going to be got inferior. The, you've got the ability to move yeah. and and move all the. Yeah. You're not you're not locked into the four apps at the bottom of the iPhone. You can make them whatever you want. You can yeah. delete the phone app, move it from the from the home screen completely, and just use the Skype app. You're yeah. not required to do yeah. anything. You know the other one is like the Apple Watch. It's like the Apple Watch only works on um, on Apple phones. Yeah. yeah, so it's their product. Yeah, no, build, I, build I, your own I've watch. Got, I've got no problem with that. Uh, I just, think Apple will lose parts of the case, yeah. but they'll win most of it. Right. Yeah. I, I Fact just, is, the big ones they've already con- conceded and, and anyway. The most, I think, the most damning thing—not damning, but it was—it wasn't a good look when I think a couple of years ago there was a reporter who asked Tim Cook to say, "Look, my mother doesn't." Yeah, she, she, and Tim Cook replied, "Well, buy your mother an iPhone." Was this? Remember that? <laughs> when he's, and and that that wasn't a good look. Yeah. And I, I don't look. Tim Cook's a genius. Apple's a great company. They've got great products. And, and I think, but look, I'll, I'll be honest, I think their dominance is because they make great products yeah, and a great experience. But I think that they do have these little strategies to keep you in the game, to keep you in their in their ecosystem and using their products. That That's that's the name of the game, isn't it? I, I really want to quickly find, if I can, but if I can't, I'll, I'll move on. But Walt Mossberg, who you would respect greatly because he's one him. of the. I know Walt Mossberg. Well, yeah. Okay, we well, <coughs> you respect because he's one of the greatest tech journals in in, yep. in history. Did he comment on this? Um, he may. He actually went into great detail on Threads about it. Right. Yep. Um, he. I'm going to find it real quick. Uh, okay, thread number one. I've having covered tech for 20. I'm not going to read it all, but I'll summarise the best I can for 27 years. And having just skimmed the actual test text of the DOJ case, I have three big takeaways. Firstly, and most importantly, the case essentially attacks Apple for being vertically integrated smartphone manufacturer. Um, and it's no difference between the difference between Macs and Windows computers going back to the 80s. Yeah. Secondly, calling Apple a monolo- monopoly in phones is laughable, given what yeah. we've already spoken yeah. about, their market share. Yep. Um, so that's he says that's like calling the best-selling expensive wine a monopoly when it actually has a modest overall market share. Yep. So I think that's a great point. Yep. And then he also says, he makes more than three points just quietly, the DOJ acts as if there's a right for competitors to use iMessage tech, which is proprietary to Apple. But since when must companies do such a thing? It's not as if Apple doesn't allow texting other types of phones via industry standards like SMS. Yep. In fact, Apple plans to support RCS. To this day, Gmail the Gmail app only works fully and properly in a special Gmail app. The Gmail, if you've got Gmail. Windows has a proprietary document format, which works best in its own apps. Um, so basically, he says what I just said. I'm yeah. no lawyer, but it's possible that in such a broad lawsuit, Apple may eventually be proven to, proven to have gone too far in some specific matters. But in most of them, the crux of the lawsuit seems to be about Apple's philosophy of building products and services, punishing the company for not having a business model like that of its competitors. So, yeah. well, look, I, I kind of I, I'm aligned with him, and you did mention that on some points they might get pulled yeah. up, and I, I I'm in exactly the same. I'm in agreement with that. Yeah, I just yeah. I just find it amazing how much money is wasted in lawsuits. Oh yeah, I know. just because lucky I mean, they've got I, plenty. Let's be clear, yeah. I don't want any company to have. I'm not no. a fan of monopolies and all that of stuff, not. but. No. You know, but you like, want customers to have choice. So they're entitled, and they do. Uh, it's just that some, some, in some cases, they're not equal to. I'll tell you the this. Experience right is now. not equal. I'll tell you this right now. Yeah. If Apple supported RCS, mm. 
Um, Which they're going to. So the, that's another thing. Dub dub. No, no. Let's just yeah. go back five years. Let's just say yeah. from the get go, it supported yeah. whatever. Whenever RCS came out, yep. if the Apple Watch worked on Samsung phones, yep. um, Apple Music, by the way, is available on Android. Yeah. Um, all the, it, whatever you like, I don't think it changes one bit their market share. One bit. You mean in in, in all, uh, all of those? You mean how many they sell? You yeah. mean yeah. No, I, 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 it would. They would sell more Apple Watches. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah, I, I think I, I agree on you that because if if you uh, just, if you're using an Android phone and want a, a choice of smartwatch and Apple might work, then I think a lot of people would make that choice. But I, but Apple didn't give you them the choice. If there's some yeah. yes, but the I think the point is, show me the anti-competitiveness of this monopoly that you're you're trying to assert. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's it's kind of like the ACCC in Australia. They they try pretty hard to represent com- consumers, but they re- never do. Yeah, they but, rarely, but, rarely but you'd are agree there, though that there, a- Apple has always had this walled garden approach. That's their always had it. That's their business. Yeah, and, and there's um, nothing stopping Samsung doing the same thing. Yeah, well, they kind of they do. Kinda but they're, do. They're, a, they're slightly more some open. of yeah. some of their Galaxy watches work on iPhone, not all of them. Yeah, but uh, but they, they are way more open than than Apple is with the iPhone in terms of what can connect with it and what it can do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, if I was them, I'd be a targeting AirDrop. That'd be the one. I'd be like, why can't I AirDrop from a Samsung? Because, you know, yeah. the Samsung quick well, share another, now. Well, it's another the iMessage case then, isn't it? It's yeah, another but, one. Yeah, but that's something Apple essentially was the first company to create this de- device-to-device mm. Because it's not actually smart. It's it's not actually new. It's using Bluetooth and Wi-Fi together, yeah. but it's just the, the phones talking to each other in a way. You can now do it from Samsung to Samsung and Samsung to some Android yeah. phones through yeah. QuickShare, and it's unbelievably good, just it's like great. AirDrop. Yeah, it's great. But where's the industry standard on that? And where's, yeah, the, where's, the, where's the outcry but on like, that? I'll, I'll bring the exa- mm-hmm. another example I have been then, uploading right? to Dropbox and downloading on an iPhone yeah. because I'm on a Samsung lately so much, it's driving me insane. But, but uh, I'll give you the other example. Like you, used, you spoke about AirDrop. And I've, I've had this happen to me. When we, you're out, you're out, you're taking a bunch of photos. Yep. And, oh, AirDrop, AirDrop. Oh, hang on, I've got a Samsung phone. Yeah. I'll text it to you. You yep. text it to them, it's crap because it's compressed. Because it's compressed, right? Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I end up WhatsApping. Use it WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, use WhatsApp. So again, would that person think, well, do I have an inferior product because I can't be part of the the group that can accept photos in full quality? And is that is that then kind of implying that yes, but your again, product is not as good as the iPhone? But again, that's just Apple using the industry standard for MMS, which compresses the quality. Now, yeah. when they move to RCS, the quality will be improved. Yeah, oh, but, of course. Yeah, I'm just saying. Look, I, I don't think. Apple have been had the foresight to create these technologies, iMessage and AirDrop, and all these things that work best between their own products. Yeah. So, do you think they deserve? They, you obviously think they don't deserve to be held accountable to that as being no. anti competitive. It's just them being innovative. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Right. Good luck to them. Would that be your argument? Right, close to that it. Their yeah. innovation is is innovation, and the the fact that it only works with their own products is that is that enough? Is, oh, is that the whole, that. Isn't that the whole point of, of antitrust is to, for them to have these great features that work, that can talk to other devices as well, well as Well, I think own? that goes to why in some areas they've already had to backpedal and they are changing some things yeah. because well, they've R- realised... RCS being one of them. RCS, that, yeah. At, uh, at WWDC, we'll see that, I guess, eh? I don't think they'll talk about it at all. At, at WWDC? No. Why not? Why would they talk about Android? No, but they'll just talk about they'll RCS. They'll make a joke. They'll say, yeah. finally, they'll, they'll say, we'll let your you silly mate just get a blue bubble. And you know what but Apple will do? doesn't that go against... You know, it, I bet you The any Department money, of Justice will be watching this with interest, mate. Do you reckon they'll make it blue? No, I don't I reckon they make no, it another colour. I think what happened, what you said is going to happen, they're going to have an iMessage app you can download for Android. No. It'll be iMessage for Android. No, I think they should. And then they'll then you can talk. It'll be, be like having a WhatsApp. So it's like a generic... Yeah, that won't happen. But Why? I think it should, but they won't. They'll just yeah. implement RCS. What I'm saying is you'll yeah. have blue iMessage, yeah. green still green. Green MMS. Yeah. But I think they'll be in a group chat. Yeah. Do you think they'll have another colour for the person that's on RCS? Uh maybe, yeah. Maybe. Because I've noticed on Android, yeah. when I'm texting people, some of them are blue, some of them are green. I'm assuming that's some RCS and some not. Yeah. Oh, the, uh, this the one's colors green. change. Like I know, I know from um, between Android and Android, and I even find that RCS yeah, look, on that, Android. We, we know that person is on an Android, right? Yep, that's oh, blue. Okay, right, that's blue. Yeah, right, but this guy here, probably on an iPhone, green. 
Um, yeah, some of them. So RCS will show up blue on, on an Android, Android phone. Yeah. I do notice too, RCS on Android works on Wi-Fi. And yeah. so I've taken out well, SIM that's cards. The, the concept of yeah, it is. No, I've yeah. taken out my SIM card in a Samsung phone and and, and moved it back to an iPhone. Yeah. I'm still getting RCS messages on the Samsung. <sighs> it's a complicated world we but, live in. But again, see this wrinkle, this complication? That that shouldn't it shouldn't be there. That that complication shouldn't be there. It should be uniform because it's a communication technology. No, if you want and uniformity, it, do what I do and use you know? WhatsApp yeah, for I know, everything. I know, but uh, like text messaging has been around longer than WhatsApp. We got there first. People still use it more than WhatsApp. It's Whoa. just not. I know, wonder. Yeah, I know. My family, we still we still all text each other. No, but you're what? You're yeah. iMessaging. I know. That's right. No, that iMessage yeah. is not text. Yeah, no, well, it's data. I understand. Yeah. And it's not using the it's not, it's not using, using the mobile network. I understand. I it's there, but it's is, their own thing. Is its own thing. Yeah. Again, its like own WhatsApp. thing that's excluded from other brands to use. Good luck to them. The DOJ should be listening to this. I don't know. I think they'd yeah. be confused like I am. Maybe. Two blokes talking tech. Everything about tech you never wanted to know. This is Two Blokes Talking Tech. And we do all thanks to the great people at Netgear. And if you're looking for a top class Wi-Fi network, have I got a deal for you. Netgear's Orbi 960 series quad band Wi-Fi 6E mesh system. This is a 10.8 gigabit per second capable uh, Wi-Fi network with 10 gig port. It's a three pack in black on the Netgear website. Stand by. $2,299. That's 500 bucks off. So $500 off the, the Netgear 960 series. This is top-class Wi-Fi for all your modern devices. Um, it's just an unbelievable system that will provide you with the basis for your home network going forward. If you don't have quite as big a home, you can get the two-pack system in white for $1699. It's a lot of money for Wi-Fi. I get that. But Wi-Fi underpins everything that goes on in your home. So if someone's complaining about something in one room, someone's complaining about something else over there, or that smart device isn't connecting well, it's because the Wi-Fi is not great. If you're going to get gigabit internet, if you're going to pay for better NBN, Pay for better Wi-Fi at the same time. Netgear's Orbi system has you covered. There's different levels. There's different speeds. There's different products to suit you, your budget, and your home and your family. You can check out all the details at netgear.com.au. This is Two Blokes Talking Tech. It was good to see you in the kitchen the other day, Stephen. It was lovely. In which kitchen we're talking about? Not our own kitchen. Kitchen. Yeah, it was near my place. The kitchen. You yeah, had to was. drive a fair bit. I, t- I, did, I drove two blocks to to, to yeah. this function. You really good. stretched the legs there, didn't you? Really uh, went out well, of your way. I did have a full day that day. I had to drive all the way out to uh, this outer suburb to pick up a car for the EV podcast, which um, oh, took, you poor took a bit of time. Baby, took some. You know, time. me driving to Marrickville is a long way. I know. Yeah. You understand yeah, that, yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Jeez. I do, yeah. That's okay. Anyway, we went to a Samsung event where they wanted to highlight the power of connected cooking. Now, it's kind of a phrase we've heard a lot, smart devices, smart appliances. Mate, we've been hearing about smart appliances for a decade. A long time. Yeah. Right? A long time. And um, I think it's fascinating because we've heard, like Jeremy Senior from a Samsung talked, I think it was at EFRA, he told me that pretty much every device now is going to be smart things enabled. We saw some really cool products there and we got to see these um, set up in, in, in Sydney so that we could really see the whole kind of ecosystem, but not in like a showroom circumstance, more in a, a physical kitchen. Yep. And you know, the concept of your, uh, your oven or yep. your fridge talking to your oven about what you're about yeah. to cook and pick a meal on the fridge and send it to the oven, or just the simple fact that ovens can be smarter and can save you time and money yeah. are a big deal. Well, I don't know. I, I, they're, yeah. they're all great products. I'm just not convinced that a lot of people are thinking about smart appliances because they're the kind of things you think about once or twice. Once when you're renovating and yeah. secondly when something breaks. Yeah, get, yeah, it's not the sort of thing where let's throw away a perfectly good oven and buy a smart oven. Yeah. It's a it's it's, it's not quite a grudge purchase, is it? Like if you if it breaks down, it is a grudge purchase, I guess. You've got to buy a new one. But the choice then you'll have is uh is an AI powered appliance. But mm. Samsung released some research about their uh, about people's tendency to move towards an AI powered kitchen. And uh, it was interesting that the it showed that Time poor Aussies, uh, like with spending, like rather than making their lunch to take to work, they're spending money on takeaway, which adds up to like I think they said about could be four k a year. Mm. When you take a, like a fifteen to twenty buck average a day, yeah. 
Um, but if and the reason why people are doing that is that they, they're time poor. They didn't have time to prepare a meal. They didn't have time to think of the meal. That's another thing too. That that having the time to do it, but also knowing what to cook yeah. is it was another was another thing that stood out in the in the in the research. And so with the Samsung, what what impressed me was their the new family hub with the the feature that it allows. When, whatever you put in the fridge, there's a camera that actually catalogues whatever you put in the fridge. Right. So if you put a, a capsicum, a, some thing, other food, or you know, carrots, milk, whatever, it's cataloging what's in your fridge as you're putting it in. And the thing was, I I had my doubts about that because I'd seen it before. And we've had you've got the family hub still. Yep. I had it years ago. Um, you know, you shut the doors. It takes a photo. You know, it's in the fridge. You can look at it from the shops. Yep. <clears throat> and I thought. When you shut the fridge, it takes the photo and then analyzes it and works out what moved. And I thought, well, that's a problem because what if you put something in the back of the fridge or whatever? But it's actually a new camera that's in the front that as yeah. you open it up, as you put it in, it's taking a photo. Now, I don't care when it comes up. I'm not going to talk about this on TV as it being a privacy issue. It's a choice. It's okay? your you buy the bloody yeah, fridge. Just relax. No one's yeah. looking. <laughs> but anyway, you can see that you had capsicum. Trevor in your Long hand, bought a capsicum. Breaking and you put news. it in there, right? And so it kind of it sees what you add and yeah. take away from the fridge. And there is great potential there for. Yeah. I see. I actually see this going much further and being like, you know, you've removed like six six cucumbers and there you only bought seven, so you're running low. Yeah. Like just to be able to look yeah. on your phone and get a list of what's in there, big deal. But also too, because it knows what's in the fridge. It can also then suggest recipes based on what you got in the fridge, yeah. which uh, that, that 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 solves that other issue of what the hell am I going to cook? Yeah, where there's stuff there that can help you. So suggest different meals, but also too, what I like too the you know you mean, we mentioned the camera in the fridge. There's also the camera in the oven. How smart's that? The oven, what do they call it? The flex oven. So you can cook. It's like two separate ovens. Yes. So you can have it as one. You can have a dual door, cook, yeah. Or you can open the top half and just look at that. So have that different temperature to the bottom half. There's a camera inside so you can check the cook. So say you cook, you're baking cookies or something, you can check look, check on your phone. And say, oh, Which look, apparently look also ready. is smart enough. And look, we, we're often cooking multiple meals. So we'll cook the kids' stuff and then Amanda will come home and put her veggies on and, and yep. then she'll be working and then I'll go to the oven and go, it's still on. I realise hers are burnt. Uh, now, apparently this thing can detect AI, yeah, burning yeah. And, and that could be a huge thing. Absolutely. Well, that could be massive. It would help me because I'm not the best cook. So when was the last it, time you used the oven? Uh, two days ago. Really? Mm. What did you do with just it? Just to heat up something, yeah. Oh, just yeah. To, some frozen stuff I put in there. Yeah. Hot chips? No. Okay, use the air fryer for that. No, well, I've got an air fryer. I haven't used it, though. What? I, we should, use I it. should use it. Five times a week. I know. Everyone raves about their air fryer once they use it. Yeah, I, I've got to actually pull the trigger and Mate, start using it. Mate, if you're still it. putting frozen, like McCain's hot chips in the oven, yeah. you're a lunatic. So you put okay. your chips in there? Put them in the air fryer, put it on for eight minutes, shake it up, put it on for another eight or ten, shake it up, salt, shake it up. serve it up. Song. Best chips you'll ever really? eat. Really? And you eat those? Yeah. Are they healthier chips to I eat? I don't give a rat's. Are they healthy? Do I look like I care right now about <laughs> healthiness? Okay. <laughs> So ask me after Easter, okay? We'll get back on the bandwagon after oh, Easter. After Easter? Is, yeah. that the, is, that your dead, is that your deadline? Yeah. April. It's good, mate. Oh God, get it back April 1? Is that an April Fool's Day joke or? No, no it's, just, it's just April. I need, okay. to, I need to work That's in months. Good. Anyway, move Good on. work, good work. But no, the uh, the Samsung gear, the, you know, they've got dishwashers and range hoods and that, that all kick in. It's not only about preparing the meal, it's also cleaning up. It's also uh, the range hood comes on when it need, when it detects yeah. theirs, the, the, it need, needs to be yep. working. So I think... Uh, it, if, if it can do, do a think, bit of the heavy lifting. Do you think that as an individual item, the smartness of these products matters? Yeah. The oven yeah, probably yeah, most yeah, of yeah, all. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I well, don't, if it can prevent I th- it from burning, if it can tell you, listen, you, your chips are done or whatever, or whatever you're cooking yeah, yeah. is done, you, you roast chickens <coughs> in there, it's fine. Turn it, or, And it turns itself off apparently as well, smart right. enough to turn itself off. So you can't burn something if you wanted to with with this new technology. Right, right. That helps. I don't. I can't Less think of a time. smoke alarms going off. I can't think of a time where we've needed the oven to be at two different temperatures. Maybe yeah. that's just kind of cook I am. Put it on at one eighty and just put everything in and wait till it's cooked. Everything's one eighty. One eighty or two twenty. Yeah, 220. exactly. Just, just put it on. on. Look on the packet and just <laughs> cook it. And when it's when it's cooked, <laughs> take it out. How accurate is that? They must. They know their own food and how well it would cook. Eh? You got to. Oh, pay they attention. know. Yeah. Well, it's funny because with the air fryer. Yeah. Um, a different set of like a different brand than Amanda likes the chips, and I'm like, yeah. this thing says like it should be fifteen minutes instead of like the 20, 25 that we normally do. Oh. And so I did that. And I'm like, they were so much better when we followed the instructions. Oh. <laughs> funny that. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, anyway. Is that yeah. all? 
No, no. Well, I'm just saying the the uh, AI uh, is something that is not going away. It's replaced. We remember we said it's replaced the word smart. AI is the new is the new black. Yep. Here. AI is um, the new black. And how we're talking you know, Wi-Fi connectivity, AI pro cooking, uh, the dual cook flex. So having that that flexibility with the oven, and also Samsung Food. That's a new app. So it's a recipe app that's on the Family Hub on your phone. Yep. And you can uh, – yeah, there are more than 160,000 recipes wow. on there. And when you say, oh, I've got no, what, what are we going to eat? <laughs> Let's have a look. 160,000 recipes. Maybe I just recipes. can't <clears> – <throat> I, I just think maybe I can't relate because we literally eat the same right. meals every week. Okay. Yeah, you're not a big variety guy, are you, mate? Well, this is, that's our kids yeah. more than anything. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. You, uh, you're no. not a – what? Listen, the kids, we've got we've got – Five meals or six meals we cook, yeah. and then we'll get takeout one night. Like, that's pretty okay. much how And how work. adventurous are you on your own, <clears throat> Trev? Not at all. There I, you go. I just have those. I'm going to have the same frozen meal every day for lunch. There you go. And I, you know what? I Pick would have and that stick for dinner is Trev's I, middle name. Pick and stick. Yeah. Yeah. But would you say that the app suggested something a no. lot? You know, you know when you're. I'll tell you right now. Hey, no. on. You know when you're watching a movie or something that says, I oh, like this, suggest, yeah. you know, like U571. What's like that? Crimson Tide, Hunt for Red October, boom. So suggestions, would you pay attention in the food app, say that your favourite meal is whatever it is, right? You know, spaghetti spaghetti bolognese. bolognese. (laughs) It'll say, it'll say, (laughs) that's how well I know you. It'll say something that's like that, similar amount of calories, similar sort of taste and texture. Why don't you try this? Would you give that a go? No. If it's like it, if it's similar to it, or you're just so... Stuck in your ways, you're not going to. I think what I need is is an app or a fridge that just allows me to go. Listen, here's the things I like. Yeah, I, you come up with. I don't care if it's not in the fridge. Just I'll, I'll go and buy it. But yeah, don't suggest something that's got mushrooms in it because I'm not eating it. Yeah, because okay. it doesn't leave mushroom for anything else. Is that why? Uh-huh. <laughs> so hang on, let me ask you: with your spaghetti bolognese, right? Yeah. Have you tried different types of pasta? No. So it's got to be spaghetti. I mean, yes, yeah, sometimes there's been other pastas. There might be other, like, I don't know, I don't fettuccine. Or... Pasta. As long as it's not the stuff with stuff inside, I don't mind. Oh, so you don't like the tortellini or not the ravioli? Really. No, not really, no. Right. So it's got to be just pasta on its own. Yeah. So if you say Amanda's serves silly Jerry, up, in there. If you, <laughs> if you, if Amanda's comes up with the the uh, the different shaped pasta, the shell pasta with yeah. bolognese Shells sauce. Shells I'm okay with. Yeah. You'll go, boom. I'm okay. You're still it's happy with that? It's just pasta. It's the same it's stuff. Pasta. That's just what I'm saying. Okay, right. Just the shape of it. But, but if you if you try and tell me to change the pasta sauce, no. Okay. Yeah. But you're not going to eat ravioli. You're not going to eat uh, tortellini either because it's got stuff inside it. Obviously not. Yeah. Whatever they I are. Like, no. I like ravioli. I'm and, really happy and, for and you. Tortellini. Yeah. Anyway, good luck, Samsung, finding a way to make yep. your food apps and your we fridges need to and make, everything work for we me. We need to get a, t- Trevor's <coughs> uh, food taste uh, AI powered, inspired by AI as yeah. well. Maybe. Our fridge would just be like, that's is the it, challenge. They might is use it deja you. vu? <laughs> they might use you as the, the Our test fridge, case. Every Monday, Tuesday, they all look the same every week because <laughs> the same things come out. Yeah. Like... They're going to Samsung Tuesday, and say, Tuesday, there's a problem like, at the long household. Yeah. They've had the same thing. Nothing has changed. Yes. Is there something wrong? They every said, no, Tuesday, no. we've checked his fridge and it's always the same. That's because every Tuesday, and they'll be like, it's four o'clock. Do you want to take the chicken out of the oven now? <laughs> yes, I do, because I've got to make the chicken on a Tuesday. <laughs> yes, thank you. Like, wow. I'm structure, man. Structure. I should have been in the military, <laughs> except for the, I don't know. Except for all the violence. hard work and <laughs> risking your life. Yeah. Apart from that, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Should have been in the military, but I just don't want to die or or, uh, or we'll have to do too much hard get work. Get busy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't want to break a sweat. No, definitely not. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'd be a good officer. Yeah. <laughs> Can you go straight to officer? You can't handle the truth. Can you go straight to officer? I don't think so. Oh, that's no, I'm out there. Don't think so. That'd yeah. be a question George Costanza You know what asks. I said the other day? Oh, I can't remember how it came up. Talking about managers. And yep. uh, I said, oh, I can't so tell you. your management style? You're talking yeah. about your management style? That's exactly where I'm going. Yeah. Uh, I can't go into detail what we're talking about. But I said to Amanda, you know, if, if I wasn't doing – if I didn't end up doing all this stuff that we're doing now, I probably would be doing this. You'd I, I be looked, in upper management. I looked at – well, that's what I was doing anyway at yeah, SBS yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and Amanda said, and I quote, you were a very good manager. I always said that. You had great management style. And I went – there you go. Wow. Is there, there any kids go. in the – can anyone remember that she said that? <laughs> it was a very nice thing to well, say. Well, you said it here, mate. It must be – it's true if you've said it, it here. It is true here. Yeah. Don't send it the clip. We only speak the truth yeah. here. Is that right, Trev? You can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. Anyway, wow. um, that's Samsung. That's right? details. So that's a, that's a good compliment That's a wife. massive compliment. That's a massive compliment. Yeah. It's good to get a compliment from your wife, It's it? unusual. Yeah, yeah, me, exactly. Yeah, thinking what? Thank you. Yeah. Do you need something? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, what did I do? Wait, what's happened? Yeah. <laughs> what did I forget? No, that's good. Good, mate. That's good. She recognises your talents. Yeah, I'm not using it's those very talents anymore. Important. But <laughs> I don't know where we're going with this, but that's no, all management. Good. Ah, okay. I thought you said you're not using those talents anymore. I'm not using those what, talents. Anymore. Wonder what sort of talents you're talking about. I'm not using those what, ones what either. talents you're trying to. Two convince. Blokes Talking Tech details of Samsung's amazing cooking range at TechGuide.com.au. This is Two Blokes Talking Tech with Trevor Long and Stephen Fennec. Two Blokes Talking Tech is brought to you by Arlo. They're great supporters of the show, have been for a while, and I urge you to support them in return. And you know what? They've got a great... This is a really, really good idea. Right. They've come up with a new website that allows you to create your own bundle of products, of Arlo products. So say you want to go, you want to buy a camera, you want to buy maybe a couple of cameras, floodlight, solar panel, doorbell... So rather than you going and buying them individually in a store and having to pay full price this for the lot. This is such a good idea. You can go to, and the link is on is on my story on Tech Guide, and I'm sure Trevor's got It'll it It'll be too. up there this week, yeah. Uh, so you, you can go, click on that link, the bundle link, and you can go and pick, it's like put your vir- drive your virtual little shopping trolley through their store. Yep. Put in, okay, I want two of those cameras. I want a solar panel. I want a mount. I want a uh, smart hub. I want uh, I want the doorbell, and I want this spare battery charging port charging uh, ch- battery charger, and then what you do, it adds up your basket, and if you've got two hundred and fifty dollars and above, you get ten percent off. Mm. If you've got five hundred dollars and above, you get fifteen percent discount. Yes, and if you go over a thousand, you get twenty percent discount. That's great. Off everything. Smart move. Yeah. So if you're maybe coming to this the home security for the first time and you want to give Arlo a try, this is a great opportunity for you to get exactly what you need, bundle them together, get a great 20% discount and, and enjoy the savings. If you're an existing customer, you want to maybe add more cameras, you want to maybe add a solar panel, you want to maybe get some more batch, spare batteries or maybe add a doorbell or a floodlight, you can use that this that, that site as well. So really, really great initiative from Arlo uh, and their products. We use them all, uh, and we, we urge you to do it as well. If, you, if you're new to the game, give Arlo a try. They're essential products. They're all their cameras, solar panels, you name it. Really great products. Try them out right now, arlo.com. Bundle and save. Do it. This is Two Blokes Talking Tech. We had nothing to talk about on this show. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw we just, ro- just crossed window. out half the rundown. I don't even know what on like, the fly. I don't know where to go here. I really don't yeah, know where to go here. You want to go, oh, here. Oh, but you, you is, is here? That, it's up to you. Well, I mean, it's, let's you do don't both. know what we're skipping. Yeah, let's right? do both. Yeah, that's Secret the thing time. when you cut things out, you don't know what you're missing, do they? Oh. So you don't know, no one knows what they're missing. We make that decision. Yeah. So. I know this isn't live. If this was live, we'd say, do you want us to talk about this or do you want us to talk about this? All right, we'll do the bottom two things. I I love this watch. Is this the Withings? This is the Withings uh, ScanWatch Nova. Nova. So the previous one was called the ScanWatch Horizon. It looked very similar. I'm going to tell you, very similar. Right. The only difference is there was more dots around the edge. Right. It's seven grams heavier, the old one. Okay. And this one has a more powerful um, heart rate sensor and it has a temperature sensor. Which I don't think matters to anyone other than women cycle tracking. I don't see a woman wearing this. Okay. No disrespect. Yep. Um, this is a $799 watch. Now, here's the story that I mentioned in my review. When I was at Abu Dhabi Airport on the way back from Barcelona, yep. um, as yep. I always do, I look at the watch shops. So I love watches. <laughs> he likes window thankfully, shopping. Thankfully Doing for me. very well. Thankfully for me, the Tag Heuer shop is not open yet. It'll be open in the months ahead. In so, Abu Dhabi, in Abu Dhabi, you're going to head back there just for that. Oh, I go what? there regularly, so I'll definitely look it out. <laughs> so there was other stores, other watch yep. brands, because basically just one company. I assume sells them all. Yep. And so I spent some time looking at uh, Omega. Ooh. I'd never looked at Omega watches before, but do me a favour, folks. Just Google Omega. C, I Isn't think it's that what James Bond uses? Omega? Seamaster. I'm going to show you now the Omega Seamaster. I yep. was looking at this watch in Abu Dhabi, thinking, oh, this would be a nice watch, right? And I literally. Looked at this watch and then thought I, I could Ooh. I could buy that right. It was seven thousand euros, right? So wow. I went. I saw Thanks, the, mate. I saw the Aussie price. Yeah, ten thousand yeah. Australian, right? Wow. Now, now the Amiga is probably a, a slightly more refined in a lot of ways. But tell me, that doesn't look like an Amiga. It's a lot like it. <laughs> it's wild. A lot cheaper too. The thing is, this is eight hundred bucks, and for a beautiful classic watch, yeah, that's good. 
That's a great yeah. price. But then you go, oh, but I want a smartwatch. Oh, okay, cool. There's a little tiny screen on there. Screen. So I like how the hands get out of the way for you. The hands get out of the way. That's smart. And I can see the time and the date. And then I can just scroll through and go, oh, I want to know how many steps I've done, what my heart rate is. ECG. My temperature variation is 0.2 degrees. What just does that quietly. mean? I don't know. Means you're 0.2 degrees colder or warmer? I don't know. I'd suggest warmer. How many steps I've done, how many kilometres I've walked? Not many. Um, <laughs> floors I've done. I can do workouts. You've I done can one. Do, You've done one at least yeah, one. No, I've done three because I've come up and down a couple of times. <laughs> um, my, I can do a blood oxygen level test. Okay, and I can do an ECG. ECG, nice. Like, isn't it wild? Withings was the first to have an ECG on a watch. That in was Australia. TGA approved. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Isn't it wild Amazing. that I can do an ECG on this right now? Bloody like do it on, now on this watch. How do you go with your ECG? You good? Um, place your hand. No so you, AFib. You do this here, and then what? Great oh, podcasting geez. this is, oh. isn't it? I think I've started it. Yeah, it's doing an ECG. Look at this. You can't. You can. Can you see the screen? So it's okay. doing an actual ECG right now, on a bloody Withings analog watch. Doesn't that? I, I just think that is remarkable. That's amazing. And so I've been saying all week. I think there's a lot of people that love watches. Yeah. Like I've said a few times, to be honest. And Trevor's one of them. You love watches. Yeah. I'm a fat, ugly bloke who has no ability to be, you know, stylish other than to wear a nice watch now and then, right? Don't so, be so hard on yourself, mate. You are a bit stylish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of my radio stations, don't be hard. No, I said I'm a fat, ugly nerd. And one of the radio stations, he goes, mate, you're not a nerd, um, which I thought was very smart. Thank you very much. Um, my nice ECG is normal, by the way. Thank you, everyone, for your concern. Um, so for people who are watch people yep. like me, and, and I'm not the only one, mm. An Apple Watch might be something they'd consider, but you you yeah. you would you would not wear it every day. Yeah. So I've, I don't think I've ever worn an Apple Watch more than five days in a row when I'm first reviewing it. Right. Otherwise, I'm switching out. I'm wearing different yeah. watches every day, right? And so, what's while, your go-to gun at your head? Go-to watch right now. This I've worn the wedding. I've been wearing it for no, ages. I mean, like in terms of you know, you've got an, other watches apart from that. Well, so if I had to just pick one pick and one get rid of the rest, the rest wear I'd one be for my the rest original of the year. tag, my first. There you go. No, not my first because that was the center. I oh, don't really you got wear a that. few, eh? You got a few. It's my, it's it's my, well. it's my F1 uh, tag. Oh, wow. Yeah. The center one. No, it's, it's just it's, F1. It's, uh, it looks like this. It's a metal metal yeah, nice, bo- metal nice. body, metal link band. That's my style. I like. Right, yeah. It's also got a blue face, that, interestingly. That's not cheap so. either, is it? No, it wasn't. It's but decent. it wasn't stupid. Like, no, people, people no, think you know what? watches are twenty grand. No, Mate, I've never spent. M- I don't well. begrudge anyone spending money on something they love. Yeah, thank you, you know? Stephen. Good I appreciate for them that. because I do the same thing. Yes, <laughs> we won't get into his collections. Yes, but for me, this Withings Nova is just an unbelievable watch for someone yeah. that loves watches but needs that. So for a start, but they want the smarts too. So think about so someone the best who's, of both worlds. Someone who's 65, 70, has always been a watch guy. I'm saying guy just because it's this is really it's a man's mainly watch. a man's watch, yeah. Um, Although, you know what? It's fashion now, I think, for women to it? wear big, chunky watches. Yeah, and, it's fashion and there now. are there yeah. are Withing Scan watches yeah. that are designed for women. Okay. They just don't have this kind of metal, chunky yeah. look. Um, but you're an older older guy, potentially with heart risk. Yes. Um, heart rate, uh, AFib detection, yeah, doing ECG, good. all that kind of stuff. It's but you you st- I was sitting at dinner. We were at dinner for someone's birthday. And I was just sitting, we're just chatting, and one of the guys at the table goes, "What watch is that?" Yeah. And I went, "Oh, it's uh, Withings." He goes, "Man, it looks really nice." Yeah. And that's when we started this conversation. It he does, thought it, it was does. a bloody nice yeah, watch. The design of it, I think, is uh, really well is done. awesome. And 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 like like you, there's a lot of people who love that traditional watch design, yes. like you. But it still's got the it still yeah. has the smarts under the hood as well. And my number one yeah. pet peeve about smartwatches: yeah. battery life. Yeah, you charge I'll, them every day, right? Well, this one having such a small screen to power. One month. What? One but month. But uh, if you use GPS, it'll it'll run it down a bit better than If you did work yeah. it every day, I'll tell yeah. you right now, you're not wearing this on a run. Yeah, you never know. I mean, I'm not. Yeah. On the treadmill? So, was uh, that, are they cobwebs on the treadmill? Up. April. <laughs> I've signed up for some live events. It's going to happen. Really? On live the events? Yeah, you can, you can do live. Oh, live sessions. on the Peloton. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Yeah. They're going to say, Trev, welcome back. Yeah. How was your six-month holiday? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. I think the instructor said, everyone, give Trevor a big hand. Yeah. Welcome back. Hey. Yeah. See if you can last more than a month this time, Trevor. <laughs> All right? Uh, it's, it's the hard good. thing about Peloton is you've just got skinny blokes talking to you. Yeah, like, yeah. Seriously, can we get some fat blokes well, on the yeah, courses? I agree. Just to think, like, I want to go I'm on the journey like with you. them. I'm just like I you, they'll I say. I want to go on the journey with you. <laughs> you know? That is a really good suggestion. That's a very good suggestion. 
two fat blokes I, I talking would, Peloton. I would, I would follow that guy. <clears throat> not, I'm not or talking girl. morbidly obese. I'm just saying yeah. someone I, who's I want to respect someone who's, who's larger human who's yeah. pushing through it as much as I am. Yeah, and not they're not just going. This is so easy. Yeah, but and they're talking know, about stuff that yeah. In a similar way, Apple Fitness. I thought the best thing mm. they did was they go, "This is the coach, but that guy there is going to do it slower." That guy there is going to do it faster. Ah, do you yeah, remember that? Yes, yes. It was so smart. Which you, and you can relate to one of them. Because you can go, yeah, oh, yeah. you know what? I'm going to relate to the guy that's yeah. going to just, I well, want to like do it. It's like when you're at, at an just, actual class, you see there's other people, your shape and size and yeah. skill level around you. That's encouraging. It's yeah. inclusive. Yeah. Inclusive. Inclusive. That's Very what you good. want. Yeah. Oh, Amazing. Yeah. Do you want to do the last thing? I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. How much time have we made? Have we done our time, do you think? Or do we should we keep going? Oh, no, up to done. you, mate. Up to you. Oh, the laptop's shut. It's official. Boom. Or do you know this off by heart? The, the other cashews one. Cashews are out. The is cashews. This cashews that what they are? How's this? Oh, I got you on the cashews. How good is that? So this is that variety I was talking about, you know, before? Amanda came home the other night. Yeah. And there was a one of these sitting on the table next to me. Sure. Who's goes, this? Goes, Since when did you eat cashews? <laughs> Jacko goes, Fennec introduced him to him. Boom. There you go, mate. Little man's See, been listening. Positive influence. Little man. He's little man. six foot three. Yeah, he's bigger than me. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, that's good. He needs to eat something. He's too skinny. Is that right? Yeah, yeah he'll kick in, mate. His metabolism is just flying at the moment. <laughs> don't yeah. don't, don't, don't want to know. No, no, your gonna... metabolism. When you're young, you burn your fat. You burn stuff. Your metabolism's going. You know, he's growing. Can and... I buy some metabolism? Well, as you get older, your metabolism. Is there a tablet for that? Uh, I don't know. It'd probably be, it'd is. be called probably. Me- metabolism. Metabolism, yeah. But uh, as you get older, your metabolism slows down. You're not burning and your, your body's – like, you know, when you were young, you could eat anything and not put weight on? No, I put weight on straight yeah, away. Did you? Yeah, when yeah. I was young, I used to eat everything. Thanks to my mum working so hard and being yeah. a single mum, I <laughs> ate meat pies for dinner every night. And Boom. Look what I got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying – that makes sense, actually, wondering why your, your food tastes are so simple, yeah. so basic. Yeah, it was that never, says a it's lot. the same as my movie taste. I was just yeah. never introduced you to it. You were never introduced to it. Wow. Imagine Possibly. if your mother was a gourmet chef and you'd be eating She is, all by the way, a qualified stuff. chef now. Yeah. Oh, there you go. She might cook <laughs> that some That came when I was 40, but, you know, or 35, <laughs> but, you know, still. Oh, God. All right, Stephen. Good to have your company. Um, we should do this again sometime. Yes, and happy Easter to everyone, too. Happy Easter. Um, I'm not it comes make, out before Easter, doesn't I'm not going to yeah, make any jokes because I don't want to get cancelled again. You're going to get holiday. You're going to, at the very least, you're going to get some public holidays. On Sunday when you wake up, just wheel that rock out and walk out of the bedroom. You'll be good to go. <laughs> Too soon? No, well, it's... Too soon. <laughs> yeah. See you, mate. Bye-bye. This is Two Blokes Talking Tech.